Please like, share, and subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. Welcome to Saint of the Day. Today is October the 3rd, and today's saint is... Saint Theodore Guerin. Saint Theodore Guerin was born on October 2nd, 1798, in Etables-sur-Mer, France. She devoted her life to the Mother Church at the age of 10. In 1813, Saint Theodore cared for her mother and sisters due to the death of her father. At the age of 25, she enters the congregation of the Sisters of Providence at Ruel sur Loire, pictured here. Bishop of Vincennes, Indiana, requested sisters to help with Catholic immigrants in the United States. So on July 12, 1840, St. Theodore and five other sisters would travel to the United States. After three months of travel by boat, they arrived. They found their new home was in the wilderness of Indiana. This area would be known as St. Maria of the Woods. We can hear the story of their arrival from the letters of St. Theodore Guerin, it reads. We continue to advance into the thick woods, till suddenly Father Batuex stopped the carriage and said, Come down, sisters, we have arrived. What was our astonishment to find ourselves still in the midst of the forest, no village, not even a house in sight. Our guide, having given orders to the driver, led us down into a ravine, whence we beheld through the trees on the other side a frame house with a stable and some sheds. There, he said, is the house where the postulants have a room, and where you will lodge until your house is ready. She later continues, we went to embrace the postulants who are awaiting us. They led us to a small room that had been given up to them by the good farmer, Joseph Thralls. This room serves as bakery, refectory, recreation room. It is also an infirmary, and this is the only use it serves constantly. We have also a part of a garret attic where they had put eight ticks filled with straw on the floor. It is so crowded that we have to dress ourselves on the beds and make them up one after the other. This strange dormitory is directly under the roof which is made of shingles badly joined, thus letting in the wind and rain, making it very cold. Despite all the hardship the sisters faced in 1840, they would see their dream come true with building the Academy of St. Maria of the Woods, pictured here, the first Catholic woman's liberal arts college in the United States. St. Theodore Guerin would go to her heavenly reward on May 14, 1856. The sister's death was published by the Catholic Telegraph. An advocate, it read, not only her sisters are bereaved by her death, but all those who know her excellence and the amount of good she did join in lamenting that she should have been removed from the sphere of her usefulness. To judge from the celestial expression of her countenance as she lay in death, there is every reason to believe that she has already taken her abode among the saints in heaven, enjoying the munificence of God, who rewards his servants according to their work. Here is a picture of a screenshot of the Indiana Catholic history. Please go check out their webpage. Link in the comments. On October 15, 2006, Pope Benedict XVI would have the great honor of canonizing Mother Theodore Guerin, foundress of the Sisters of Providence of St. Maria of the Woods. St. Theodore Guerin was the eighth person 
to be canonized from the United States and the first from Indiana. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O God, you give us St. Theodore Guerin, a fearless woman of God. May she intercede on our behalf, implore for us through Jesus the gifts of living faith, abiding hope, and steadfast charity, so that through a life of prayer and service with others, we may and promote the providence of God among all people. May the Sisters of Providence of St. Marie of the Woods stay strong in the faith and always be in our prayers. May the Pope stay strong in you as he leads the Church. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I would like to say a special thanks to Brittany Weeks for reading my slides for me. My boys, Loki, Yulo, and Honor for giving me the time I need to get these videos out. My husband for always be believing in me and my faith.